The seven star terror raid event for Hisuian Decidueye is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your games. As of recording this video on the 6th of October, the Hisuian Decidueye is making its debut in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will hop over to Cerebi to take a look at all of the details for this raid. As you can see, it will be running for its first phase from the 6th till the 8th of October and it will be returning next weekend as well from the 13th until the 15th will be level 100 it will have the grass terror type tied to it and it will be level 100 and obviously it will have access to that scrappy hidden ability making all of those fighting type attacks hit ghost pokemon where they would normally have an immunity so that's basically what scrappy does the moves that the hit suing decidua is going to have access to it's going to be triple arrows that is a fighting type attack it also can lower your defense it has a 50 percent chance to lower the defense on your pokemon so it's something to keep in mind Brave Bird is the flying type coverage it does have. It does have Shadow Claw as well. So be careful if you are planning on bringing Ghost types into this raid. And Leaf Blade is its big grass type attack that it's going to take advantage of. It does have additional moves of bulk up. So that's boosting its attack and its defense by one stage every time it uses it. Sword Stance is an option on there as well. It boosts its attack by two stages every time it uses it. Grassy Terrain is another option. And it does have a special type attack in Leaf Storm. It doesn't really use it too often uh, in the raids as we go forward it will have the mightiest mark it is going to be adamant nature so going to be pretty hard hitting as well boosting that attack stat and it is only catchable once per raid and the item drops as always for a seven star raid are going to be very good you're going to get a lot of large and xl candies you're going to get proteins calciums as well as an abundance of grass terror shots so really good for this ability patch as well and then obviously other high cost items that are going to be very, very nice for just going in and farming in this raid. But this is all the details. You're going to see it running over this weekend. If you don't go online after this weekend when the raid event finishes, you'll keep it in the game until the next time you go online. But it will be live again from the 13th to the 15th for a second time out. But that is all the details of the Hisuian Decidueye raid. And to access this event in your game, you're going to need to just be online, come to your Polka portal. And once you're in here, yeah, just come down to mystery gifts and then check poker portal news this will communicate with the servers and update the dens and this raid event if you have got the dlcs will only be appearing in paldea so it will not be in kitakami so paldea is going to be where you are going to be wanting to check once you've updated your dens and you come back onto your map you're going to be wanting to look for this raid den it is going to be the grass terror type it will look like a six star terror raid in your games but it will in fact be the seven star terror raid and once you find it on your map just head over to it and you'll be able to locate it and next we'll go through the builds that we're going to feature in today's video there are going to be two pokemon that I feel confident that you're going to be able to build in your own games and do this raid solo by yourself. So this is primarily what these are built for. We tested these on stream. We've just finished on stream. And both of these builds are going to be more than capable of going in and beating this Hisuian Decidueye for the first time if you just want to catch it or if you want to repeat this then over and over again for the high cost items and just farm for particularly uh, level up candy so going with the Sarah ledge first I think the best one out of the two potentially uh, we've got the fire terror typing on it so that's really nice when you do terrestrialize you're going to lose that weakness that you do originally have with its ghost typing to that shadow claw that the Hisuian Decidueye does have access to metronome is the item of choice in here because you're going to be using the bitter blade over and over again towards the end of the raid which is going to give you a, a lot more momentum a lot more power because it's going to be increasing the damage on the bitter blade every time you use it level 100 of course going into the raid and the moveset we're going to go with is bulk up will-o-wisp clear smog and bitter blade with an ev spread of 252 evs in hp 252 in attack with an adamant nature and the rest put in that four remaining into defense for the flash fire ability here don't go for the weak armor ability because it's not really going to help you out too much but that is the Sarah ledge the build will be down in the description as well as with the corviknight as well so the corviknight build that we've got is going to be flying and steel type Flying Terror type on this one with the Shell Bell item. It just gives us a better line of recovery throughout the raid when we need it. Going to be level 100 once again with the moveset of Roost. Now this can be changed for Taunt if you want. You're not really going to be using Roost in the early stages of the battle. 
where you're going to be relying more on the heal chair uh, before you terrestrialize. Then we've got bulk up, we've got reflect, and we've got drill peck, which is going to be our main attacking move. EV spread is going to be 252 HP, 252 defense with an adamant nature, although you can go for an impish nature if you would prefer to boost that defense even further. But the big important thing is that mirror armor ability. So every time that the Hisuian Decidueye uses that triple arrow attack and it lowers your defense, it's actually going to bounce that defense drop back onto itself, meaning that you're going to be able to do a lot more damage with your drill pecs uh, after those bulk ups and things like that. And the basic premise with the Corviknight is going to be turn one, you're going to go for the Reflect. Turn two, it's going to nullify the stat boosts and abilities on your side of the field. You're going to then go for the bulk up after that turn. And then you're going to go for another bulk up. And then you're going to go for a drill peck before the shield goes up and the Hisuian Decidueye removes all of its stat drops on its side of the field. After that stage, if you need to, go for a heal cheer. If you don't, then just carry on going for your bulk ups until you've got to about plus four. So plus four attack, plus four defense, and then just start spamming those drill pecs and uh, you should be recovering a decent amount of damage there depending on how many defense drops uh, the Hisu and Decidueye has taken from the mirror on my bounces when it's been uh, hitting you with the triple arrows until the point until you can terrestrialize and then you're free to roost because you're not taking any super effective damage from the triple arrows of course just remember if you do roost with the Corviknight before you terrestrialize you will be taking big damage from that triple arrows and you kind of want to avoid that and rely on the heal chair until that point after you have terrestrialized once you've terrestrialized you're going to be doing big damage with the drill pecs you're going to be resisting the triple arrows as well and then that from there on out it's going to be pretty straightforward for you to be able to beat it with the Corviknight but to show you how good the Serral Edge is we'll go into the raid and I'll show you exactly how to use this Pokemon going in um, so you're going to have no trouble doing this solo in your game for yourself. When you come into the raid firstly, you're going to notice unlike the other previous seven star raids that we've had access to in past events, it's not going to have a turn zero. It's not going to do anything turn zero. So we can see the scrappy ability activating there on the Hisuian Decidueye. First turn we're going to want to go for is the Will-O-Wisp here. So you want to burn this. This is going to reduce the physical attack stat of the Hisuian Decidueye by 50%. So that Shadow Claw, it is pretty threatening. It's not going to be hitting as hard coming into this turn. It's worth noting, if you do have an Intimidator on your team here, it is going to help you massively throughout this raid, but not essential with this build. We've done it without an Intimidator here. You are going to see the second turn. It is going to nullify the stat boost on your side of the field. It's also going to get a bulk up off. Now, this is where we are going to go for two bulk ups ourselves before we go for a bitter blade. So we're going to see some damage coming out from our partnering Pokemon while we do this. But we get the bulk up off and that's the main thing as we see a Shadow Claw. Now, you can get punished here with a critical hit. Of course, Shadow Claw is going to be one of those moves that can hit a critical hit. And if it does, it will really, really hurt, uh, even if the burn is there. So it's something just to be aware of going into this raid. There is a little bit of RNG even using this Pokemon, but get those two bulk ups off and you're going to be in a good position this next turn to just fire off a bit of blade before it gets its shield up, which will happen after this turn. So uh, the bit of blade coming out and this is going to recover all of the, the, the health that you've lost to this point, which is going to be huge for you going into the rest of this raid. So you can see here, recover that health off, which is going to be good. We can see a Shadow Claw come out, not do too much either after those bulk ups. Now it's going to negate all of those negative effects on its side of the field and it's going to shut its shield up and it's going to go for a sword stance now but this is the point where we utilize that clear smog that we've got access to to get rid of that bulk up uh, boost that it's got on its attack and its defense and that sword stance boost so it's not hitting as hard going into these next few turns so this turn after the shield goes up first thing you're going to want to do is use that clear smog it's going to nullify all of those stat boosters had access to uh, even through the shield so you don't need to worry about that and then we're going to see a Shadow Claw come out. And now we can go for another bulk up here. And then we're going to just concentrate on using our um, Bitter Blade because we're going to need a little bit of health back at this point. Um, obviously, if you've taken more damage at this stage of the battle, probably want to go for a Bitter Blade before now. But we are plus three at this stage. So we're just going to want to get to the point of being able to terrestrialize where we're going to be able to do a lot more damage and also take away... Uh, the weakness uh, that we've got to those ghost type attacks whereas 
once with Terrasilize, we're not really going to be have a weakness to anything that the Hisuian Decidueye is going to be able to throw out at us. So you can see we're taking everything pretty comfortably here. We've got everything in check. We can go for the Terrasilize and we can click that bit of blade and get some big damage and start this snowball effect with the metronome item this next turn. The blade coming out, we are plus three. It hasn't got those defense boosts now, so we're gonna be in a good state just to recover all of our health back and do some good damage to this Hisuian Decidueye. And we're getting a good point as well with the raid timer, so we're not really worrying about that at the moment either. Um, and even with a crit here, because we've not got that weakness anymore, we're in a good position, right? Uh, any grass type attacks we're gonna resist coming out. The only thing that you're gonna really have to worry about is We'll see the triple arrows now going to be kind of neutral. Uh, it was neutral before, but the Brave Bird uh, can still do some big damage if it does decide to go for that, but not likely. I think it's more reliant on anything else. And like I say, if you've got an Intimidate user, like we've got the Taurus here, you could have Arcanine. It's going to just help you out massively in the, this battle, but you can see the damage that we're doing, and we're not even maxed out with bulk up either. So that's something that you can do as well. Spend a few more turns if you want going for those additional bulk ups just to boost your defense. Uh, get rid of any uh, defense drops that you're getting here from the triple arrows that you can see coming out um, or you can, and just to kind of boost your attack up as well which is going to help you out just clear the raid a little bit quicker but not essential because you can just just spam the bit of blade now because of that metronome item that we've got attached you can see one more bit of blade after this is going to be enough we're going to be able to knock it out and in pretty good time as well so uh, this is why I feel like the Serral Edge probably the most consistent solo build to go in and farm this raid with if you are having trouble with it and if you do want to farm for those high cost items of course as well so the Decidueye will take about three turns here just in a row so you, you're going to be in a good state to, to, to take those attacks though so you're not going to be really in any danger at all and then one final bit of blade if you're locking in with it with that metronome item it should be enough to clean this one up and recover any health as well if you do miss the knockout but you're, you're going to be fine so that will break the Decidueye and you'll be able to catch it in whatever ball you have let me know if you are catching it what ball you've caught and I would love to hear what ball you've caught your Decidueye in uh, I got mine in a friend ball so very happy about that so the time that I spent at the auction house was well spent getting that before this raid went live and then you're going to get your high cost items. That's great. We get a lot of good items there, especially those level up candies, which are always useful for future raids, of course. And then like always, if you want to do the raid again, you only get one seven star raid appearing per day, but you can get around this and respawn a new one by hitting your home menu. Come into system setting, down into system, down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock by the internet is off. Then come down into date and time. Toggle through with A, don't change anything. Hit that OK button. Then just hit your home menu, come back into the game and you should see all your dens respawn and that seven star terror edge should reappear in your game and you can just mark it on your map, head over to it and just do the same again with these builds. So that is everything for today's video. As I've mentioned, the builds that we're featuring to solo this with in your game are going to be down in the description below. There is the Serral Edge, which is probably the best one of the two, but the Corviknight will do a good job as well. And I think it's just as good if you want to choose that one, but it's entirely up to you which one you would take into solo with. I think both will do a very good job. But that is going to be everything. Like I say, if you found today's video useful, please drop a like on the video. It does really help it out. And do subscribe to the channel because if you've got any better solo builds that do pop up between now and next weekend, then we will feature them on the channel just to make farming this event a lot easier and a lot quicker for you in your games. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the seven star Hisuian Decidueye Terror Raid while it's lasting. It's just really nice to have a Hisuian Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet for the first time. So enjoy the raid while it's going live and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye bye.